Hi, I'm Henry. I'm DJ. We play in a band called Keep Flying, and you're watching Heart Support. The problem with the safety net is that even if you need one, it still means that you're gonna fall. I, I've had self-esteem issues most of my life, you know, mostly either because of looking different, you know, overweight, uh, um, my complexion, things like that. And, um, and I think that led to feeling very left out and feeling isolated, which, you know, fosters depression and, and things of that nature. It sounds cliche, and it's, it's an overdone story, but um, I was bullied for being fat. It never bothered me being overweight. It still doesn't. Like, I, I you know, it, it's, it, it, I worry about the health aspect more than how I look. I'm 27 now, but I still feel like I, I deal with the same kind of self-esteem issues that I, I dealt with as, you know, 14, 15. But because I didn't address them properly and then, and now I feel like it's still kind of, it's like a ghost that'll still haunt me now. I don't view myself in a, in a good enough light. Um, and I'm told that very often by, by, by people very close to me. I automatically default to something's my fault. Or I don't deserve something. Uh, whether, especially, you know, something happy, something, you know, something positive. I don't deserve happiness. I don't deserve uh, love, acceptance, you know. Um, I don't know why I do that. It's just a reflex. Uh, and I, I guess, like I said before, I think it stems from not handling it early enough in life. So I don't view myself in a decent light. Um, I think that's where it started. And then my mind took it way further and extrapolated the negative experiences I had with person-to-person -person interaction to every interaction I have. So now, I overthink simple conversations with anyone. I, I, I just, I go way too far. I try to see how they look at me or how a situation looks like two or three steps ahead and I, I automatically start it with the, with the root of they think this about me because I think this about me, and that's not true. You don't look a certain way so you don't deserve certain things, and, and, and that's not at all close to true. And it, I, I just wish I didn't, like I said, I wish I didn't start every, nearly every interaction I have with that. But like, I, I've managed to, you know, to hold down a, you know, a, a really healthy relationship. But every now and then, still I'll go, oh, she feels this, she doesn't feel that at all. Yeah. And she gets tired of reminding me. Yeah. And there's other friends I've had that have done the same thing that my friend, my brother, they get tired of having to remind me that, hey, you're not a total piece of shit. Yeah. So please stop it. Because I, if I have to keep telling you, I'm going to have to stop. And I, I can't blame them for that. And that yeah. sucks. Because yeah. that's me pushing them away. Yeah. That's, that's hard to deal with. Every day. Every day. Uh, and it's, it's, caused, it's, it's caused rifts in my, my most close relationships. And I never noticed that it could do that. I always thought it was something so, it's my problem, I'll deal with it, you know what I mean? But, but it, really can, it really can separate you from even people that you need to not feel that way. And I have it, I have it. I have a girlfriend, I have a band, I have these things that, that I work so hard to have and like, it's just a default to go, I don't deserve this. And you can lose it, and that's awful. And I don't want to do that. I wish there was a quick fix, but there is no quick fix. Um, it's literally every day and almost every moment to moment that's just not slip back into, oh, I shouldn't be here. It's, just, it's, it's nuts. It's a lot of work. See, and another issue I have is that I also somehow think that my own issues aren't even important enough to be dealt with. I have self-deprecation about my self-deprecation. It's like, everybody goes through this. It doesn't make me special, you know? So why should I bother taking care of it? It's not true. And I'm not saying that, you know, it doesn't mean that you need to go and, and, and like, it doesn't need to be a big, giant statement. But just talk to your friends. Talk to the people who care about you. Because there are people that care about you. It's not, and as, and as cliche as that sounds, it's true. And it, it helps way, way more than you think. I mean, even, even, you know, I'm 27, I'm turning 28 soon, and I'm still dealing with these things, and I'm still, I still need to remind myself that, hey, you have a system of, of people. And just, just the conversation itself, this is helping me right now, honestly, I, I feel, I feel great, you know? Uh, I, so my advice would be to talk to people like Heart Support, and talk to the people just immediately around you. 
Yeah, bring it up. They'll help you.